In today's lecture, let's talk about total isotropic sensitivity or in short called TIS. The TIS is used in mobile phone area. It's a recent development with the advent of 3G, 4G and CDMA. It basically measures the sensitivity of receiver in noisy and imperfect conditions. So what you do, you have a transmitter and you have a receiver. We are concerned with the receiver measurement. Now, we go on reducing the power of transmitter and as we reduce the power of the transmitter, the, there is a chance that the receiver bit error rate starts shooting up. So as soon as the bit error rate crosses a certain sh threshold, something like 0.5%, we take that power of the transmitter as the sensitivity of the receiver. So that is a very important measurement and it's used in mobile phone or any device that use 3G or 4G uh, technology to receive data on, on, on a radio link. So what are those factors that affect the TIS? So basically, there are two major factors. One is the antenna property. So if the transmitter is transmitting and the antenna is not tuned to that frequency, that will degrade the performance. If the antenna's uh, gain is not uh, uniform in all directions because in isotropic sensitivity, we may measure its sensitivity in all directions. Uh, antenna may not be matched properly to the receiver circuit of the phone or the device. The second thing that affects is the TIS is the noise generated by the phone's internal circuitry itself. That can be the phone, that can be the power supply circuit of the phone or it can be the uh, it can be the uh, touch screen or the LCD screen of the phone or any system. So anything, any electrical circuit that generates noise is picked up by the antenna and that noise enters into the phone or the system and that increases its bit error rate and thereby reduces the value of the TIS. So how is the TIS measured? We will give a basic, a very basic and a simplified uh, way just to understand it, what is the involved in the measurement. So what we do is basically measure the power at the receive, uh, the transmitted power at which the receiver's bit error rate is excessive or it crosses a threshold. Let's call it P1. It can be typically like 95 dBm, minus 95 dBm, minus 91 dBm or minus 100 dBm depending upon the sensitivity of the receiver in one particular orientation. Then repeat the same thing at another location. For example, the antenna is at an angle of 30 degrees with respect to the mobile device and that can be 90 degrees. can take it at several different elevation angle and we can also rotate the phone where it is kept so that it has different azimuthal angle. So let's say this, we measure it at two angles, different angles, we call it at one point we get a reading P1 like minus 100 dBm. Another angle we got a reading called P2 then the then the overall minimum power is calculated roughly by using this formula 1 by p equal to 1 by p1 plus 1 by p2 now you should understand this value of p will be lower than p1 as well as it will be lower than p2 that value of p is will be called the overall uh, measurement of the sensitivity but we have just, it can extend this formula for P1 and P2 and there can be more measurements P1, P2 up to Pn. We will take this, use the same formula 1 by P equal to 1 by P1, 1 by P2 plus 1 by 3 and so on, 1 by Pn. And then there will be a correction factor. That correction factor will take into account the losses between the transmitter and the receiver 
and the setup uh, factors and so on and so forth. So I hope uh, you like this talks on the and it gives you a broad idea about what the total total isotropic sensitivity is about.